Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Nostalgia. I am your host Brayden and I am joined once again by the always wonderful, my partner in crime, Michaela. Hello. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm alright. Good, uh, good. I'm feeling a little bit sick so my Aww. voice is voice is not the best but it's okay we'll push through we'll power on we'll get through this because we're all very excited for what we're talking about today we are talking about animal crossing very excited we are so excited for new horizons coming out soon um so we wanted to reflect a little bit on the overall series um because we've both played a little bit of it haven't we yeah we have yeah um i know that i've played like one of the games you've played one of the others yeah um, i did i played like the app the um iphone app for yeah a while so yeah yeah we, we are about as experienced as you need to be in animal crossing very casual players but i think that's all you need to be that's what animal crossing is all about i think oh, except for the people who go like hardcore and like change the time settings on their device to... oh, i definitely did that oh my god of course you did um, but yes, uh, so first off, obviously we had the first Animal Crossing which came out on the 64 in Japan and then the GameCube when it reached the wider world. Um, now obviously it's integral to the series, but we didn't play it. We were like, what, four? Maybe? What, 2001? Yeah, we were four. Yeah, so... so... Little bit too, um, too young for it, I guess. Like, I mean, like, it's not like it's a, it's not a mature themed game or anything, but like, I just... I didn't have a GameCube. I didn't have a GameCube. I, th- I think we had a 64, but Oh, like, okay. My neighbours had a GameCube, but like, at, like, at the time, like, they were like dude bro neighbours. Right. So they were like, oh, no, nah, we're going to play these games. And it's like, they weren't going to walk around an island and or walk around a little town and pick apples for a raccoon um but yeah obviously like it's super integral to overall the actual series mm. but yeah we just we missed the boat because we didn't have access to it at the time we were children we were little babies and we had no money for our own mm. um speaking of having no money for our own uh thanks tom nook um <laughs> no and then uh the next thing to come out was on the DS, I yeah, believe. Yeah, so it was Wild World. Wild World, and I missed this one, unfortunately. Um, I had a DS, but I was too busy playing Pokemon, so, um, so uh, you had this one. Yeah, I've actually got a funny story about this one. So um, when I bought it, I had one of my best friends and I, we um, both got DSs around the same time, and so her birthday was coming up about a month afterwards, so I went through and I bought her this. I had no idea what it was about. <laughs> um, I saw the word animal and I thought, yep, that sounds great. Cool. Um, so I bought it and then we played it and I thought it was so cool that I begged my parents to buy me it like two yes. weeks afterwards. So, um, yeah. So I ended up getting it through like... Coercion. Coercion, uh, persuasion. Um, yeah. And... It was probably my most played game on the DS. Oh, for you, most certainly. That and like Mario Kart. Like, oh yeah, Mario Kart and the DS. Maybe Nintendo Dogs, but like oh, they, they were my top three. Had a bit. Those they were, were my definitely top three. Been the top three. Um, yeah, so I didn't have it on the DS. Um, obviously, they made some changes in there. Obviously, with every new edition, they were adapting and changing and making improvements and everything and. Uh, where it's come a long way like to what we're seeing now which we'll get to in a minute but oh my god we're so excited for the new one um so yeah i missed it on the ds i missed wild world wasn't it yeah um so i actually the main one i played was on the wii um the wii being as insanely popular as it was um whenever we weren't playing wii sports or my little sister was playing wii fit playing that stupid stepping game oh heck yeah for hours on end i'm calling you out amelia (laughs) um she'll never listen to this um yeah so we had i believe it was let's go to the city yeah or something like that folk depending on where you lived in you know in the world um yeah i was so upset that i never got this i'm still salty about it yeah to the point where I kind of want to buy it retrospect- <laughs> and just have it anyway. And just have it and just play it. Yeah, play it for like a day. Yeah. We'll, we'll get it a day or two before New Horizons comes yeah, out. Yeah, sure. And then we'll just like play You can play it for a the- day and yep. be like, cool, I understand. Yeah. And now leave it. It was so cool because you got to like, 
there were heaps of stuff that you could do that wasn't in the DS one. Yeah, so they added they added like a whole extra little towny bit, I believe, where yeah. like oh, you could like. I believe it was something to do with hopping on the train and going and doing something. It's been so long since yeah, I played this. Yeah, you could this. go to the city. Yeah. Um, and that was where, like, KK Slider and the gang would be or something like that. Yeah, and you could, like, hang out with your friends and, like, all of that stuff. And I know you could do that on the DS, but it was such a pain in the butt to mm. do. Whereas... And obviously it looked a bit better oh, on yeah. the Wii as well. Um, yeah, I, I played it for hours upon hours upon hours on end. Um, wasn't until after I had, like, stopped playing it at some point when I heard about the whole t- changing the time on your device and I was like, oh, well, that would have made it easier. Okay. Yeah. And then I never got around to doing that or anything. See, it was so much easier to change the time on your DS than it was yeah. on the Wii. So, yeah, I ended up doing that a lot. Yeah, um, you're like, it's Halloween. And it's like, yeah. we just had Christmas. <laughs> it was like, yeah, you know, it's Christmas time in like May yeah. because I just wanted to see it like snow and like yeah. all the lights and stuff like that. You're living in like 2077. Mm-hmm. It, like all the Animal Crossing creatures have like cyberpunk dress and all, all this headset gear and everything. Yeah. All the future tech. Wouldn't that be cool if they added some random bullshit like that? That would be cool. If it's like, hey, we know you cheated. So here's this really dumb stuff that we're going to throw in. Um, but yeah, and then after the Wii, there was the 3DS one, which was New Leaf. Yeah. Everyone raves about it, but neither of us had a 3DS. Yeah, and I'm very sad about that. Very, very sad. Um, it's... because it looks like it, it added, it made it so good. And I think New Leaf is like the one that a lot of people actually, um, got into Animal Crossing Yeah, by. Like, it helped a lot, a lot of, of people, new people come in. A lot of people didn't play um wild world or city folk or yeah. whatever you wanted to call it um they jumped on it when new leaf came out and i think most of my friends who play animal crossing played it they got it from new yeah leaf. played new leaf and they didn't play any of the other ones so um yeah it's really interesting and they said that that's you know the best one so yeah everyone raves about it being the best animal crossing it's like oh boy okay sucks that i missed out on that yeah i know but i mean i wasn't i wasn't gonna put i i i didn't really have the funds or anything to go and get a 3ds and to be fair i probably wouldn't have played any other games, other games yeah. on it like so maybe a pokemon yeah maybe but yeah it would have just been an animal crossing device and that's a lot of money for just an animal crossing device It'd be worth it, but... It it would be, but also at the same time, I'd be like, man, this was an expensive game. Yes, very (laughs) expensive. You'd have to play it a lot to get your money's worth. Yeah. Um, And before we get into what everyone wants to talk about, because it's about to come out and we're so excited, um, New Horizons on the Switch, Mm. uh, you got real deep into a fun little iPhone game. Okay, look, I love phone games, okay? I'm on my phone constantly, and, like... Yeah, phone games are great, and when it came out that Animal Crossing was going to have a phone game, I downloaded it, like, in the beta testing. Like, um, the second it was available to any public, you were on it. Australians got it, like, before everybody else. Yeah, we got it, like, a couple days before everyone else. Yeah, and so we were, no, we got it, like, months before the Americans, I think. Yeah. Oh, God, Um, yeah, I forgot about how pissed they were. Yeah, they were so upset, and so, yeah, I got it, like, as soon as I could, pretty much, Mm. um... And I spent ages and ages and ages on it. I haven't picked it up in a very long time long now. Time. But I remember, like, every time I would see you around when it had come out, I'd be like, so what level are you now? And, and you'd be like, 25. And, like, <laughs> the day before when I'd seen you, you were, like... I was on, like, level like, 18. Honestly, yeah. like, you were... You played so much of that game. I know. I should, like, pick it up again and see, like... See where you were at. Where I was at, because I've got no idea. Um... But, but you loved it. Yeah, it was great. Like, it was just the right amount of Animal Crossing for a phone. Yeah. It, was, phone it wasn't It was the whole thing, and it changed some stuff up, obviously, to make it work for a phone. Yeah. And I, also, like, monetary-wise, make it work for a phone game. Yeah, I think I stopped playing once it started getting, like, too, like, pay-to-play. Like, yeah. there was a lot of things that you couldn't do because you had it to, starts like, to become like, oh, you need this special item, or, oh, you need this much energy or whatever yeah. to do something. Yeah, so it was just, like, too... You got too time-consuming, 
to actually mm. progress. So I was, yeah. I love the aesthetic of it. The oh, whole yeah, like really, really camp pretty. out like style thing. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, the pocket camp. That's really cool. And you get to like design your campsite and stuff. Yeah. So um, I think that's one of the things I'm like excited about for um, New Horizons. Mm. So let's get into that. Yes, please do. God, let's get into <laughs> that. So New Horizons comes out this week. Um, by the time anyone's listening to this by like a day or two, like, oh my God, it's so exciting. Um, we have it pre-ordered. We're going to get a stupid little keychain of either KK Slider, Isabel, or Tom Nook. I kind of hope you're we get... secretly hoping for Tom Nook. I want you? the Tom Nook one just because I love his little like like hot, like island shirt. He, he looks like he's going to bloody Margaritaville. It's great. <laughs> um, it's Jimmy Buffett. Yes, exactly. But um, yeah, oh, the second this got announced. Like, we went off. Oh, uh, I'd been waiting since the Switch came out for an Animal Crossing. Yeah. That was the one game I was like, yes. It's okay, like, all right, cool. Go. We're playing heaps of Mario Kart Deluxe. We're playing heaps of... We played Pokemon. Uh, yeah, uh, let's go Eevee. Eevee, let's go Pikachu. And um, uh, we still haven't picked up Sword and Shield yet because our lives have just been too busy. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, we're, we're the whole time just like, oh, come on, Animal Crossing. you got to announce it at some point soon. Yeah, so when they announced it i was very happy yeah and the new direction they were taking on it being like a little island and you get to like start out the island yourself and everything yeah and like oh my god like and then uh, um obviously they had like little trailers that revealed that it was the whole like island theme and everything but then more recently when they did the 25 minute direct where they went really in depth on what this game is going to be like. Yeah, it was like an infomercial to get you to come to the island. It was awesome. Oh, it was so um, good. I think my favourite thing about it was that you could completely design your island. Like, yeah, so the later could, game part. Yeah, get rid of, you know, some um, some terrain and you mm. can, like, add waterfalls and add, like, rivers and stuff like that and, you know, build bridges and build stairs and stuff so that it yeah. makes it easier for you to get around. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Like, I was like super keen about that yeah um, it's such a cool addition because it's like sure it, it felt like the island was going to sort of be your own anyway because you get to like choose where everything goes and all of that choose where people live as well oh my god yeah i love that it's like oh and if you want someone to move you can like set it to move and like because you're part of the like island team basically of tom nook's like crew um you can like if you don't want new islanders to come and join, like don't have they don't have to. But if you do, you can like set out where houses are gonna go. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. It's so smart. Yeah, like it's, it's like your own like anybody who has watched like any interior design shows, it's like that, but in a game. Yeah. It's it, awesome. It's like it's like it's not so massive that it feels like it's trying to be like a Sim City or yeah. like City Skylines or anything. But, like, it's just enough town creation to make it feel like it's really yours. Yeah, and it's going to be completely unique and yeah. um, different to everybody else's that you see. Exactly, um, which I'm very excited for because we have a couple of friends who are getting it and we cannot wait to go and visit each other's islands. It's yeah, going to be a great gonna time. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, I'm very excited that the uh, museum is still there. That was Thank the God. one thing that I was... A little bit worried about because you know it's a deserted island why would it have a museum but yeah but then it's like you can still have the museum you, can still have you get there, to build the that's museum the best part and it looks amazing it looks so good like, the aquarium looks cool and then like you step in or like the, bugs the, butterfly the butterfly room oh, oh my god so pretty yeah it looks phenomenal like the visually obviously this is a huge step up for animal crossing from like the wii and the 3ds because yeah. obviously those weren't the biggest graphically like mm. they weren't anything special and now like seeing it in like crisp hd and all the all of their little animations are so cute mm. and all the additions to like clothing and appearance and everything like it looks amazing um and i on, on my favorite part at least because this was my like main concern when it got announced mm. was i was going well are we gonna have to try and buy another switch like yeah. for us to be able to play, play together and then when they revealed that no you can both have both users or you can have multiple users yeah on one switch at all the on the same time. island and at the same time as well like that gave me so much peace of mind i was like yes we can just sit around and play it together it's gonna be so good yeah it's gonna be awesome i'm very very excited about it um 
Yeah. Um, is there any other new feature that you're like excited about, like as a little addition? Um, nothing in particular that I can think of. I'm just excited that we're getting a new game. Like mm. I haven't, I haven't played it since probably, oh gosh, um, like two thousand, two thousand and nine, two thousand and ten, yeah, maybe. Yeah, two thousand ten, I'd say. And yeah, so I'm like super excited that I just get a new game and, you know, it's going to bring me back to when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, It's going to be so peaceful. It's just going to be such a nice chill time. I love the music, (laughs) like... Getting oh, all of that. Been watching all of those KK Slider like versions <laughs> the, the of like pop cover songs. songs. They're so funny. Um, but yeah, I just I love how calm it is because that's what Animal Crossing like means to me. Basically, is like like literally they um I I'm not sure if you'd seen this yet. It's only it only came out yesterday for when we're recording this. Um, they put out a little like 30 second trailer or something, just like an announcement, like official trailer for like it to be on TV and stuff. Oh, cool. And it's got this girl and she's sitting in like a city and you hear like the city and the buses and it being all loud and crowded and everything. She's at a cafe mm-hmm. and then she like pulls up her switch light and like it cuts to like her perspective, like looking at the switch light playing Animal Crossing mm. and all the city noise goes away. Oh, that's cool. And it's just like chill Animal Crossing time. Oh, it's so sweet. It's That's what I'm very excited for. It's wholesome, good, calm content, which is what we all need in our lives, I think. I yep. think everybody's pretty stressed. Everyone's everyone's sick and tired of all the serious stuff we have to worry about constantly. Uh, it's coming at a good time as well. Like, um, yep. Bray and I have just gone back to uni. Yeah, getting back into study. Yeah, we're um, juggling flat out at work. work. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of things going on in our lives, so it'll be good to just sit back and relax and play something really chill and calm and yep. not stress-inducing like most video games are to me. Yes, they, um, yes, 100%. Um, <laughs> so, this is going to be such a nice, relaxing time. Yeah, I'm very, very excited for it. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, uh, if you want to hear more of our thoughts on gaming, at least Hack the Dino-wise, um, give us a subscribe here. Check us out. Uh, there's a bunch of other nostalgia episodes we've done. There's heaps more more coming this year with such big new releases coming um and then if you want to hear Michaela pop up on other random bits of podcasts as well um uh Michaela has popped up on another show I do which is Millennial Movie Talk over on your podcast service of choice um I often play the uh the person who the didn't person, like the movie as much as everyone else or the person who's just co- coming in and covering for someone, covering else. For someone yeah, else yeah i'm normally the uh backup broadcaster yeah so. um you're crushing it over here in the podcast game <laughs> it's a great time um but yeah thank you so much for talk- talking with me literally literally we're laying on your bed talking right now so yeah the, like we're talking about animal crossing it's just we're talking to a third person which is a microphone yep our cat is somewhere our cat is somewhere i'm surprised she didn't jump up onto the bed while and we were start doing this purring and hitting the microphone I'm she would hit very attack the microphone. very impressed good job chloe yeah shout out to you but yeah um thank you all so much and uh go get that animal crossing you, you go help that tom nook out you help. make that island yeah yeah you get it you get that island share that <laughs> right, bye-bye bye bye